So one of the final things that the book Play Bigger teaches us is we need to choose a problem that's easily spreadable. How well can I evangelize the problem? Meaning if I go out and I start educating the market on the problem, does it kind of take wings on its own and get spread around? Did you hear that guy's doing that thing, solving that problem? We didn't know it really was a problem. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's totally what's happened with the secret MLM hacks thing. How many times am I tagged in the ClickFunnels Facebook group around the MLM funnels thing? Have you guys seen that? It's everywhere. Does ClickFunnels work with MLM? I don't touch it. I haven't touched it, haven't forever. And what's crazy is people, they come in and they say, you gotta look at Steve Larson's. You gotta look at Steve Larson. They tag me at it all over the creation, right? There's so many people tagging me on the, the and the reason is because I found a problem that evangelizes well. Make sense? A little bit? Okay, once I've done this, and we're almost done with this part here. Okay, once I've done this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk through, and again, we'll kind of tie this all up here in a moment, but I want to be able to figure out what I call as the new market statement, okay? Now we've gone through and we've walked through several of these pieces now, okay? We've walked through who our who is, who the market is, uh, what I call the core problem, that your entire business gets solved, I'm sorry, uh, focuses on, okay, the core problem that they're having inside there. Okay, and I'm gonna say a statement like this. I'm delivering dream customer to their dream of health, wealth, relationships. And they feel frustrated with the market. A lucrative solution is blank and solves their really valuable core problem and they're willing to pay money for it. Okay, that's kind of what I do. That's how I put it in a sentence. That's how I put it in a statement where they go, okay, okay, I get it now. Right? When people say like, what, what do you do? It's not like I say that verbatim, it'd be a little weird. <laughs> I'm delivering. Right? But uh, that helps me know if I've hit it. Okay. Alrighty. Now, how many of you guys right now, is anyone, is anyone in here that like said like, oh man, I'm totally in the wrong business again. <laughs> anyway, we got a few more hands. A few more hands start popping up when you say this now, right? Now that we're getting further and further down this road, it's like, oh man. Are you seeing how maybe your funnel may, like why or why it is not working from what we're going through? Yeah. Helpful to see it. it. Creates a foundation for everything that you're gonna do here. This is real marketing, like I said. This is gonna set up the foundation for uh, more of the direct response place, okay? But we are gonna go in and uh, we're gonna do a little so what section here, but it's actually gonna be, um, uh, we'll go for 10 minutes. And uh, so go ahead and choose the core problem. And what I would start out doing is just write out a whole bunch of problems and start, not all problems pay you the same when you solve them, so let me go through and try to identify what that core one is. Um, what's the solution you're thinking about providing? And then I try to complete that blue ocean statement, okay, as well. Make sense? Questions? Yes? Go back with like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the actual statement itself. Awesome. So we'll leave it right there, and uh, we'll go for, for 10 minutes here. Guys, thanks so much, that's enough for me.